What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and I'm coming to you with the recap for one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, it was against this uh, random uh, clan. I don't sure how to pronounce it. Bit. I think it's bit. Just I don't know if it's B I H or B B Raja. Um, <clears throat> didn't quite give their full effort, but uh, you know, is what it is. <clears throat> have a lot. Sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice after tonight. I had a long, long day at work, but definitely want to crank up this video before I lose the replays because there's a lot of action up top here for this war. So, um, guys went off. I really wanted to just jump right in and check out some of these attacks. So, uh, Queen Cordelia going in on their number 14 brings the 13 Valks with seven healers, and you're going to find out what's in this clan castle very soon. Now, uh, Queen Charge goes down. Just going to kind of start taking on all of these buildings. She's going to get pretty juicy value here. <clears throat> Doesn't really get targeted by too, too many defenses at once. So if uh, Wizard goes down, starts to just kind of creating the funnel forward. Just wants her to step into this nook and start taking care of all these defenses. That's going to happen momentarily here. Just working her way through. Wizard's going to get good value to just tanking from that queen the entire time. <clears throat> Taking down the Wiz Tower, gonna move down to that air defense. Wizards in there doing just insane works. Taking down his like fourth or fifth building. <clears throat> Queen's there, Rage is there. Everything is going splendidly at this point. Early poison down for those CC troops. Out they come. I think this was the war. I think they had mostly all archers in their CC comps. So again, like not a crazy, maybe a few hounds too. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but uh, definitely, definitely everything going perfectly here. A couple wizards down, even a Valkyrie down. I want us to create that funnel on this side, knowingly that this side is already created. Opens up that wall for those Valks, lets them in. Just going to beat on through that wall. Work their way right down to the Inferno Tower. Rage goes down. Down goes the Inferno number one. Heal spell goes down. Take care of that stuff. Perfect freeze. Look at the stretch on that freeze. Gets the Queen, gets the Tesla and the Inferno Tower. Jump spell down over that back end, opening up the rest of the base. Queen is still A-OK, -okay, walking around the outside, getting percentage. And yeah, the C sorry, I should have pinpointed the moment when these guys came down. He had dropped, now, he dropped healers. Oh, I wish I could rewind. Um, he dropped a CC full of bowlers. They got probably not the, definitely not the value he wanted, but... Uh, the problem was the, the healers he had dropped for them did not lock onto the bowlers. But whatever, they did some work over there. Queen's still mopping up. Still has some Valkyries up there. King is almost dead but doing tanking. He's got a few more Valkyries coming back around. He's got to start working through these walls here. Finally, that king goes down, but he's got still a few Valks and just perfect timing. The queen meets up. The healers now lock on to one, two, three, four, five, like at least five or six Valkyries in there. So not much of this base left. It's really just a time concern at this point because he ended up losing his bowlers, which was supposed to take care of this back end. Um, but just has just enough time here. It's definitely, definitely going to be a tree star. <clears throat> couple more buildings. And it's in the bag. Nice job, QC. Beautiful. All right, what's next? Number 12. I had JJ moving here. This is a couple uh, just straight Valk attacks. Just bum rushing some of these more uh, form style bases. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and bring 15 Valks. Here was uh, another 8 healer attack though. So 4 healers are going to go down on this little queen charge. Sort of the same idea as uh, QC had in that last attack. It's going to work down, pull out that CC, take care of it, get it out of the way, take care of a few defenses, and just let her kind of do her thing after that point, and then sends in the Valks. <clears throat> so it's got to work through this elixir storage, moving on down next to those archer towers. Raid spell goes down, going to push her through and take care of all of that stuff, no problem whatsoever. She's about to step down at a clan castle range, I believe. There it is. Out comes a hound and a loon. Poison spell goes down, kind of unnecessary. Um, as you can tell, this must have been a pre-update. This is two wars ago in 2.0. So yeah, four days ago, yes. So pre-update. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, pups come out. Those Max Hounds, guys, Katic and I just did an update discussion video today, and it's uh, just gone live, actually, probably literally as I'm doing this. And honestly, Max Hounds are beasts absolute beasts they can give your queen walk a little bit of trouble if it kind of bursts strangely or like 
Max hounds are dangerous. That's all I, all I will say. Anyhow, queen charge going or queen walk going absolutely splendidly. Like the whole 12 o'clock section is now completely toast. In come these Valkyries. Jump spell down and everything right into the core. There's barely anything for these Valks to get through. Fortunately, because he didn't wasn't quick enough on the deployment with those ones. Um they they take a hike down to the army camp, but few of them even go go back up and in. Core is now toast. Absolutely everything just getting shredded right now. Still has healers all over the base. Inferno towers are down. So with he's got a bunch of Valks, his king in there and his queen. And all those healers, there is no chance. There's one air defense left. So obviously there's no possible way it's going to take down these healers before these Valks and everything works through the rest of this base. So give that a little times two action. Everything beats through these walls. <clears throat> Still has both abilities on the heroes as a side note as well. 82% of the base. There goes that king ability finally. Kablam, kablam. One more compartment to go essentially here. See you later. Tesla, cannon, and it's a tree star in the bag for JJ. Nice job, buddy. All right. 11? Is this the one or is that 10? I don't know. Salty had a six pack. <clears throat> so hopefully I'm picking the right one. I had like 10 and 11. Like I like crossed. It's like I crossed. Out. I don't know if I like put a circle around the one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's getting late here. Anyhow, a little earthquake down in the core. This is definitely not the one I had originally chosen. So I definitely chose poorly. It was supposed to be a 10. But whatever, uh, we're gonna just kind of do this on the fly. Salty's are just gonna see no funneling on the outside here, guys. Like you cannot build bases like this. It's just far too easy to let things into the base, and like there's one set of walls with no buildings to get through. Even it's just wall, so you can just drop wall breakers right wherever the heck you want them to go in. And then the rest of the base is open, minus the one compartment and the useless corner compartment. So, um, really tricky base. Oh, no. So, this is not pre update because there is a max lava hound right there. So, it's really strange that that last base did not have a max lava hound. Weird. So, anyhow, um, yeah, I thought that was really strange when I saw that lava hound. That's why I was like tentative even, even saying anything because. Clearly, it was not a Max Lava Hound, and this one is, but whatever. Queen's in there, finally has to hit that ability, takes down the defensive queen in the process. These Valks are just starting to shred this base. They kind of take a bit of a delay section before they go to that core. Down goes the core, free spell gets really good value. Expo, right, Tesla, and the Inferno Tower. Valks get right in there, another raise, king ability. Everything's just ripping through that core out the other side. Healers now lock onto the Valks. Kind of perfect when that happens uh he did lose his queen up there so you don't necessarily sorry excuse me you don't necessarily want that to be the reason that the healer switched to your valks right but a lot of times when your raids go just perfectly your queen charge or walk will kind of meet up with the valks and then the valks will or the healers will switch targets onto the valks or even the king hell you know even at that point like whatever you got in there other than the queen sometimes is more beneficial Anyhow, as you can see, treat in the bag for salty. Nice six pack, buddy. Sexy, sexy. Um, <clears throat> nine. Next, good old Ice Man. Bringing a golem here. Uh, so interesting choice. I've kind of been straying away from golems at my town hall ten, but by no means am I. Uh, <laughs> any good at town hall 10 so i just i go off what these guys do um you know so i record these good attacks um so ice knows what he's doing he brings a golem here which i thought was interesting so same kind of idea to guys like get nothing on the outside right the queen just immediately starts getting value from the core and can pull up that cc with no time used whatsoever so um you know gotta think about that in your base design so here comes his golem and here's why he brings it immediately the expo locks on so that's one reason um unfortunately it loses the uh, wizard of that cannon right away but the golem's gonna tank quite a bit of stuff here before he sends the valks in does send that king in just wants to get that our arch tower down as soon as possible because he needs to get that golem in there so finally gets through these initial defenses and in come the valks from this other compartment so essentially what he did 
was use the golem to create a funnel from the three o'clock. So now the Valks don't stray. The Valks only go to the core. So I just thought it was absolutely genius. Nice job on that one, Ice. Spray spell goes down. Like this core does not stand a chance. Heal spell is down. Perfect timing on that because both Teth or both Inferno Tires are down. Beat through the wall. Let's get to, out to that next set of the ring. Just going to rip through the rest of this stuff. Queen still has healers on her. He, she's just bursting in now. Going to finish this stuff off. Fortunately, does lose all the Valks, but really, like, there's nothing that can stop this Queen. She still has the ability. Just, it's, again, matter of time. Like, how she burst through the wall instead of just going up and around. Why? Why would, why would you go up and around? That makes no sense, right, Queen? Stupid Queen. But still comes away with the tree in the bag. Nice job, Iceman. Okay, number seven. This is actually a really cool attack. Self Fence has just been bringing the heat lately. <clears throat> More bowlers here for you guys. Um, level one bowlers at that. Uh, brings eight healers again. So this is kind of a more common thing. You're seeing it's almost like a two-pronged walk. Either bowler walk or you kind of drop the healers on your Valkyries. There's there's definitely a lot more value on healers I'm finding uh, in these newer uh, newer tier strats. So what South Fence is going to do is just step in here, start to create the funnel, and yank out the CC. Soon as this stuff's taken care of, the queen's going to kind of go down and back around. And then same idea, guys. No buildings on the outside. It is just insanely easy to get Valks right into the core. The idea with these ring bases, I guess, is that you're like, okay, well, what, go ahead and get into the ring they want you to path around right like that's the idea if if you don't get to the core while you walk around this ring of defenses these inferno towers are going to be shooting you in the expos now let's just bring some healers and some bowlers take this section out with the rage too and then let everything in through the middle and the only place for them to go is the core now you saw all these bowlers going in there just again just genius i like I don't think this stuff, like, wow, I was really impressed with a couple of these attacks. I mean, nothing crazy, right? It's just create your funnel, right? Get get one side of the base killed, the other side of the base killed. You know, use these eight healers. Yeah, you're going to be a little light on the Valks, but these bowlers under rage just do tons of work. Queen's over there, just going to continue to mop up on some of this stuff over here. King, everything, four healers, five, four or five healers in there as well. Finally hits that king ability. <clears throat> giants gonna get up there at the perfect time watch this too thought this was perfect see these giants they just kind of wander up to that mortar right as this queen is about to finish these trash buildings and step up into that range has the queen ability anyways so it doesn't matter clearly this is a tree star the bowlers two of the bowlers are still alive so <laughs> two of the five like amazing value on the bowlers they're level one two beautiful job nice tree and tree in the bag there so get out of here kitty Jesus. All right, I got one more, one more here for you. This is a Town Hall 11 attack. This is Kane. Very sort of interesting Town Hall 11 base. Really kind of hard to break these ones down. Um, again, though, eight healers, guys. So you're, I'm seeing this more and more, and the reason being is the same idea. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You want to just create a funnel and leave leave a middle section of the base and if when you drop valks they're going to go to the core they're going to get that stuff if you can just get valks to this core that is insane value you drop a rage nine valks and this core and, and this whole core is done i guarantee it um so you just got to figure out how to do that and kane does a really good job here just being very very patient on this little queen walk does not use the rage does not use the rage knows he's not gonna have a problem whatsoever and now the queen goes back the other way but the job is done right like this whole side is done so he drops the king now on this cannon just suicide style creates the funnel on the other side earthquake opens everything up and there's no place for the vox to go but exactly where i said so healers go down now they're not going to do anything until the inferno's down but boom rage goes down and see you later core like that was just so fast instantly sorry i'm on times too so it looks faster but that was just unbelievable double poison double rage see you later core healers now just kind of lock up onto everything these valks are just going to walk around the rest of the base there's no walls even to stop them they just have to it's a matter of taking care of the rest of these buildings <laughs> just smashed it it's a really nice job guys
really like the uh, like the Valk funneling there. Um, so yeah, crazy war up top. Our guys just kind of went off, really, uh, really starting to come around. You know, just starting to smash these foreign bases. So uh, just getting the continuous practice on these uh, true uh, war anti three stars is really where it's going to come down to how how we're going to improve in our range matchup record. Because uh, as every anyone who follows us knows, we're uh, we're struggling, but uh, definitely being very positive and seeing some of this stuff really uh, goes a long way. We're looking forward to the future here because we got some uh, got some some really good stuff on the horizon and uh i really think this update is gonna reliven the world or yeah reliving reliving whatever uh the world of clash of clans you guys know what i'm saying get out of your skype um and i just you know katic and i are gonna bust out some really crazy series i think i think everyone's gonna like it and just in in general i just feel activity is gonna be awesome there's always gonna be stuff for everyone to do at all town hall levels um you know and just everyone's game is going to improve and the wars are going to get more difficult and at the same time though everyone's going to be getting better so it's awesome uh going to call it on here though guys that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help a bag that next tree start till then i'm out